Hello students, how are you all? Fine, very good. Students, we have already started chapter number 8 time. Correct? And in last class, we have learned what is time, how to read a time, correct? And how to write a time also. Huh? Now tell me, how many hand a clock face has? Two hands, correct? Uh, so the bigger hand is the minute hand and the smaller hand is the hour hand, correct? In the last time, we have learned how to read and how to write a time, correct? And today, I will teach you reading the minute hand. Only we will concentrate on the minute hand, okay? So... Reading the minute hand. First, see this clock. Remember this clock? This bigger markings are for hours and the smaller markings are for minutes. Okay. Now, you know how to read the time. Correct? Time is read in hours and minutes. This is clear. Correct? Now next thing is if, if the hour hand is at 1. Okay? Or suppose if the hour hand is at 4. Okay? If it is crosses number 4. Huh? Is at 4. And the minute hand is at 9. Is at 9. So it is 4 hour. How many minutes? So, you will count 1 minute, 2 minute, 3, 4, 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It took too much of time, lots of time. So, it is easy way to read the time. It is easy way to understand the minute. It is this number, the minute time is at which number? That number we will multiply by number 5. So, 9 fives are 45. So, it is 4 hour 45 minutes. If this minute hand is at number 3, then tell me the time. 4 hour and then we will multiply this minute with the number 5. So, 3 fives are 15. So, it is 4 hour 15 minutes. Understood? 4 hour 15 minutes. If this minute hand is at number 6, is at number 6 and the hour hand is at number 3. Okay, is at number 3. Now tell me 3 hour and how many minutes? The 6th number you will multiply with the number 5. So 6, 5, 6 is 30 or 6, 5 is 30. So minute hand is at 6, so 30 minutes. So 3 hour 30 minutes. 3 are 30 minutes. Understood? Okay. So, it is easy way to understand the minutes. When the minute hand is at a big marking. When the minute hand is at a big marking. It means this big markings. Okay. So, that time we calculate the minutes by multiplying the number at the marking by 5. Okay. If at this marking number is 4. Huh? So, we will multiply this 4, number 4, by number 5. So, 4 fives are 20. So, it is 20 minutes. If this minute hand is at a 3, number 3, big marking, number 3, then we will multiply this number 3 by 5. So, 3 fives are or 5 threes are 15. Okay? So, for example, if... The minute hand is at a 3. Is at a 3. Then, then we will calculate. We will multiply this number 3 by 5. So, 3 fives are or 5 threes it is 15. So, it is a 15 minutes. It is a 15 minutes. Understood? Very easy. If this minute hand is at number 11, then we will multiply 5 with number 11. So, 11 fives are 55 or 5 elevens are 55. So, it is 
55 minutes right so it is easy to count or easy to read the minutes okay next and the important is quarter past if we divide this clock into the four part from 12 to 6 one part and like this way if we will divide this clock into four parts the first part is a quarter past this first part is a quarter past okay then what is a quarter past so if the minute hand is at number 3 if the minute hand is at number 3 it shows 50 minutes correct because 5 3 is a 15 it shows how many minutes 15 minutes and this 15 minutes means this first part this first quarter part is called quarter past okay it is called quarter past when the minute hand is at number 3 and this hour hand is at suppose if the hour hand is at number 1 and the minute hand is at number 3 so it, it is what 1 hour 15 minutes correct it is 1 hour 15 minutes or or quarter past 1 quarter past 1 instead of 15 minutes we can say quarter past 1 okay so the hour hand is read by the bigger number it crosses i already told you whenever the this hour and how to read this hour hand the hour hand is read by the bigger number is crosses if it is at 2 number 2 and the minute hand is at number 3 number 3 it means 15 minutes means quarter past and this hour hand is at number 2 means it crosses number 2 so it is the quarter past 2 okay for example see the example if the hour hand if the hour hand has crossed number 5 see number 5 and the minute hand is at number 3 if the minute hand is at number 3 so it is 5 hour 15 minutes correct 5 hour 15 minutes or quarter past 5 so see here minute uh, that is the our hand that is the smaller hand is at number 5 it crossed number 5 and the bigger hand in the blue and blue hand see blue hand it is the mini time it is at number 3 it means 15 minutes so the time is 5 hours 15 minutes i already told you these two dots these two dots separate time separate time in hours and minutes so it is 5 hours 15 minutes okay and why we write why we wrote first time hours only because time is read in hours and minutes so always whenever you will write the time that time first you will write the hour and then you will write the minutes so you have 5 hours 15 minutes or instead of 15 minutes what you will write quarter past 5 correct or quarter past 5 see spelling q u a r t e r quarter past p a s t past 5 see another example look at an another example see here in this example the smaller hand it means the r hand crossed number 10 and the bigger hand is at number 3 3 means 15 minutes so it is so so the hour hand has crossed 10 and the minute hand is at 3 is at 3 so it is so the time is 10 hours 15 minutes or instead of 15 minutes we can write quarter past 10 so or quarter past 10 okay now open your maths textbook page number 144 write today's date that is 9th december 2020 done okay now read the question number one is write the time shown by the clocks here clocks are given so according to the 
clock according to the time you have you have to see the hands okay and afterwards according to the hands you have to write the time okay see the first clock here first you have to see the hour hand now tell me hour hand is at number 1 okay and the minute hand is at number 3 3 it means 3 5 3 is a 15 so first we will write yes first we will write hours and then we will write minutes so 1 hour how many minutes 15 minutes and we will separate hours and minutes by double dot so 1 hour double dot 15 minutes okay or instead of instead of 15 minutes what what we can write we can write quarter past 1 so write quarter past 1 done now c c1 b1 is your homework okay now complete c1 here you can here tell me the minute hand the smaller hand see the smaller hand means the hour hand is at number 7 and the bigger hand that is the minute hand is at number 3 so it is 7 hour 15 minutes so right 7 hour 15 minutes and don't forget to give two dots because two dots separate the hours and minutes and it is quarter past 7 because instead of 15 minutes we will write quarter past 7 understood okay now see the next one here the smaller hand that is the hour hand is at number 3 no is at number 8 and the bigger hand is at number 3 so it is 8 hours 15 minutes correct and instead of 15 minutes what we will write quarter past 8 quarter past 8 means you can write time in a two ways c ha huh? next see the f d b and d is your homework here smaller hand is at number 11 and the bigger hand is at number 3 so 5 3 is a 15 15 minutes and how many hours 11 hours so 11 hours 15 minutes or 15 minutes 11 hours no first we will write hours so 11 hours 15 minutes 11 hours 15 minutes and instead of 15 minutes what you will write quarter past 15 no then quarter past 11 very good quarter past 11 and tell me uh, tell me the spelling of quarter past quarter q u a r t e r quarter past p a s t past spelling is also important okay okay now question number 2 is draw hands on the clocks to show the time now here you have to draw the hands on the clocks to show the time now time is given and you have to draw the hands and which hand you will draw first yes hour hand and then minute hand very good now see time is given is 6:15 6 hours 15 minutes so first you will draw hour hand correct first which hand you will draw r hand so r is a smaller hand so first draw r hand at number 6 and then you will draw minutes minute hand so how many minutes it is 6 15 means 15 minutes so minute hand we will draw at number 3 understood so it is 6 15 now next see the next sum sum number c here quarter past 3 instead of 15 minutes we can write quarter past so quarter past in short it is 15 minutes right so 15 minutes 3 hours 15 minutes so first you will draw r hand so r hand you will draw at number 3 
at number 3 means it crosses number 3 and the minute hand is minute hand you will draw at number 3 only because 3 fives are 15 15 minutes so minute hand is a bigger hand right so it is quarter past 3 done you have to do along with me you have to complete in your note in your textbook along with me done okay now next c e1 okay because b and d is your homework in both question question number 1 and question number 2 b and d clock b and d is your homework 8 15 8 hours 15 minutes so 8 hours 15 minutes now you will tell me which hand I will draw first minute hand or hour hand hour hand that is the smaller hand at number 8 so draw smaller hand at number 8 and the bigger hand is at number 3 8 15 it means quarter past 8 understood means in both the way if it is written you should know how to show the time by draw the hands okay now next quarter past 10 now you have to show quarter past 10 sometimes you will get confused it is not written 15 minutes then what is quarter past 10 that is why I told you quarter past it means 15 minutes okay so 10 quarter past 10 it means 10 hours 15 minutes now what you will do you will show our hand in smaller hand is at number 10 it crossed number 10 and the and the next means the minute hand is at number 3 that is the bigger hand and whenever you will draw the hands make sure it should be in a difference like the smaller hand smaller and our hand it should be draw in a small only and the bigger hand it is a big hand right done okay now see here question number one and two clock b and d is your homework so you have to complete your homework correct we divided clock into four parts and first quarter part finished okay now you know how to read the time and how many minutes a clock has now tell me how many minutes a clock has 60 minutes now our hand is faster or minute hand is a faster minute hand right minute hand is a faster than our hand so one hour equals to how many minutes 60 minutes right and how we will calculate the minutes by multiplying number five okay by multiplying number five got it okay do practice at your home and complete your homework